He comes from a very large family and he knows the importance of sharing. He knows the importance of giving. When I was 16 or 17 years old, my mother passed away and I had a brother and he decided that he would take me with him. Fortunately, my brother was able to get me enrolled in high school there and I went to college there at A&T State University. The Korean War started while I was in college, so I had to do a two-year stint in the Army as a second lieutenant. This was a bronze star that I got in Korea during the Korean War. Once we got through with the war in Korea, I figured uh, the worst part of this military stuff is over, and I decided to make the military a career. At the time I went in the Army, they were just in the process of desegregating the Army. I had positions of responsibility and authority that I never knew I would be able to do in the Army. I commanded a missile site, and those were exceptions to what was happening at that time. George went to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel in the Army. One of the things I learned in the military was don't let where you come from determine where you're going or what you can do or what you can achieve. Dr. Hampton is an educator that taught military science at Virginia State University, University of Maryland, 4 Eastern Division, and Pepperdine. When he and his dear wife, Dolores, decided to take up roots here, they decided to give what they had learned all across the country, both nationally and internationally, to bring it back to Prince William County. He's a community leader. He believes in the community that he lives in, and he's been in this community for over 46 years. Dr. Hampton is and has been a strong pillar in this community and around the world. Chuck Robb appointed me to the parole board. Same with Gerald Valiles. He reappointed me for another four years on the parole board. The Wild has appointed me chairman of the ABC board. George Allen appointed me to the state board of elections. Mark Warner appointed me to the board of visitors at Virginia State University. In addition to that, he's very devoted to his fraternity. George is the oldest and most senior member of the fraternity, and so they developed a foundation called the George M. Hampton Foundation, and it focuses on both in scholarship and in leadership. He has the Scholarship Foundation, and last year they've donated over $27,000 to over 14 students across the Northern Virginia area. He has given generously of his time, talent, and energy he has always been a driving force that promotes education and academic excellence. You have a duty to others and you have a duty to yourself and you can shirk neither. Teddy Roosevelt said that. I want those kids to know, don't let who you are or where you came from determine who you're gonna be and where you're going. You've got to be motivated to do more 